clear coat is basically like a real life clear coat that you would have on your model you have a base color like you see here these numbers in this grid and then on top of it is a clear reflective coating you would see stuff like this on like eyes or car paint or like maybe wood that has a coating on it all right let's cover the settings in here so first up we have well we're going to skip the normal until the very end once you understand what the shader does then we can go and cover that part all right so there's baked cube map that is basically for a fallback cube map if you want more information on that check out the metallics tutorial i cover exactly how that works but basically the world has a cube map you can see it on this it's the sky in this case and then in this one we're forcing it to use a different sky cube map and it would fall back to this if there were no cube map present in your world all right Next is tinting that cube map. So we're just taking the sky and tinting it red in this case. <clears throat> Next up, we have a mask. So that's masking where the clear coat can happen. In this case, the clear coat just looks sort of metallic. And that's because I have it set to an alpha of one. So you can you have to like lower that to make it look more like a clear coat. After that, we have the smoothness map. And that's just controlling how smooth certain parts of it look. So you'll see you have a really like dull look here, but then on these parts it's pretty smooth and almost like a mirror-like reflection. <clears throat> Next up we have the um, inversion. So you can invert the smoothness map at any time. And all that does is sort of take the smoothness value and set it to the opposite. So if it's one by default it's gonna then be zero and you can see it on probably on this model more so if i took this material and i inverted it you see this part right here is really shiny and then when i invert it now it's really dull and the parts around it are shiny instead and this is the thing i was talking about at the start the normal map so by default, you're going to be on vertex. So let me actually select the right thing. By default, you'll be vertex. But you can see all these shadows being cast on it because it actually has different normals. And normals are just sort of the direction of the surface. So the lighting is being curved, or shadows are being generated where it thinks the model's curved. And by default, it's going to ignore those because a clear coat sort of goes over all the little bumps and makes it smooth. But you can change it if you want to be pixel based so it now uses the normal map and those reflections will be um, sort of wiggly like the normals and the last option is force lighting and all that does is just force whether it should be lit or not by default it's going to um, have reflections and then those reflections are going to sort of light it by themselves but you may want to look more tune and have lighting on top of your uh, clear coat. So just play with it. This is really cool for things like maybe you want like shiny wood or you want your eyes to be reflective or car paint, things like that. All right, that covers all of this. If you have any questions about it, feel free to join the Discord and ask them. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.